What's up everyone, Takedown here, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be opening up a box of Marvel Studios Allure. This is a really cool product which I wasn't even familiar with, I didn't even know they made. My fiance did find this at Walmart, so this did cost $50, but it looks like it could be very cool to open up. So there is five packs per box and four cards per pack, so a total of 20 cards, which isn't really the greatest for $50, but you could get some really cool stuff out of here. You can get autographs and other great cards as well. There is these Blaster Box exclusives, uh, which are the Yellow Taxi, which are really cool, but you can also get um, base parallels like I said, autos and other stuff as well. And I'm a huge fan of the Marvel movies anyways. So it's going to be really cool to see what we can get out of this box. I'm not sure if this is a product I might continue to get and open up on the channel. But I thought it was worth checking out for only $50. And I haven't really opened up too much on the channel as of late. So I decided just to take the risk. So first up, the packs look amazing with Iron Man on them. I think it would be very cool if each pack had a different Marvel MCU character, but they all do have Iron Man on them. So I'm going to open up the first pack here and see what we get. Okay, so up first, these are really cool cards. They're almost like um, Opeachy Platinum in a way, where it has the nice chrome finish around it. But up first, we do have Red Skull. We do have Infinity Stones for Guardians of the Galaxy for Star-Lord, which looks really cool. We do have Doctor Strange. This is like a blue parallel. The chrome is more of a blue on that one. And we do have War Machine. So all characters that I do like and that I think did a really good job. That one's actually from Iron Man 2, so it's all the way back from uh, all different movies in the MCU. And it also does say, obviously, the actor that uh, did play the character as well, which I think is very cool. So it's not just honoring the character, but also the actor. Next pack here. Fairly easy to open, uh, but we do have Happy. That is awesome. I do love Happy. Let it focus here. So another one. Oh, it looks like we got one of the uh, yellow taxis for Ghost. Not really familiar, I think I would have preferred uh, somebody else, but that is still a pretty cool card. Wanda. And we do have Maximoff. I believe these are, like these ones here are the base. Since we're getting more of those, I would assume it is the base, so I'll put the base with the base. Next pack here. We do have Jane Foster. We do have a red variant for George St. Pierre that is amazing. I thought he did a great job in Captain America, but I'm also a fan of him in the UFC, so that is a really cool one. We do have Nebula in the yellow taxi as well, which I do like that one. And we do have Maria from Captain Marvel as well, that is really cool. We do have two packs left. I'm honestly not expecting much out of these since it is a blaster, but I would honestly love an autograph of literally anybody. Next we do have Hawkeye, which I am a fan of. Loki, of course you have to get Loki. We do have Ant-Man, which is awesome in the blue. I can't really tell. There is a little mark here, like a little semi-fold. So that one is very interesting. We do have Pepper as well, which I was never really a fan of her. That's the only character that I didn't really care about um, in the MCU. We do have Wanda. This is a different version. So it must be uh, you get one from every character. Or sorry, one from every movie maybe. Because we did get her from Civil War. And we also have her from Infinity War. So every movie, I guess there's a different version of the character, which is awesome. She looks really angry there. We did get this cool card, a Infinity War Thor, which looks very glossy. You guys can see the reflection there. Not sure what that is called. A character poster, maybe? 
That is really cool. That would be really a nice one to get. And it is a thicker card, by the way. So that one itself is really cool. We did get a ye another yellow taxi for Makith. And another base for Ronan. So very cool. I don't know what the base uh, go up to. Let's see what the highest numbered one is. 91, so maybe 97. Nothing goes over 100. So it looks like there is 100 base cards for the sets. Uh, then obviously you do have the blue border ones, which actually go higher. So it looks like uh, 1 to 100 is the regular base. And then maybe 101 to 200 is the blue bordered. I'm not sure about these ones here. That looks like just a variant. These ones here are a variant as well. We also have this amazing Thor card, which I absolutely love. And we do have the Infinity Stones, uh, which is really cool. So comment down below what you guys think. We didn't get an autograph, unfortunately, but do you think this was worth $50 for myself? I'm not so sure, but it also was really fun to open up. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Please take care. Peace.